What's up, sneaker fans? Thanks for tuning in to a more than hype review. So, today we're going to be taking a look at a pair of SB Dunks, and it's a really miraculous thing Nike's done with the Dunks. I'd say five or six years ago, nobody cared about SB Dunks, nobody cared about Dunks in general. Everyone was wearing Jordans, Jordan 1s, of course, as always, but there's other retros. Nike has revived the dunk, and there's sort of this resurgence of interest in the dunk, and now you can see them reselling for double their retail value, and SB Dunks specifically are getting really, really hard to get. So I feel really lucky to show you these, so let's get right into the review, starting with the packaging. So, purple Nike SB box, Nike SB up top, licensing, SB logo, more licensing, more licensing, and then our label here. So, um, official name of these is Nike SB Dunk Low Pro. Style code BQ6817010. Official colors are black, cool gray, black, and black. Far as sizing goes, in SB Dunks, I usually size up. I got an eight and a half here, and they are pretty narrow on the toes, but lengthwise, they do fit pretty true to size. For a more comfortable fit, and if you don't want to have to deal with breaking them in, you could size a half size up. But, you know, I don't like to say that because the, the, the width of the shoe is still going to be too narrow for you. All shoes won't fit everybody's feet, is basically what I'm saying. So, um, if you have extra wide feet, then dunk lows, especially SBs, are not for you. The regular dunks are much wider, and um, yeah, you should be looking at those. But... With all that out the way, let's take a look at the shoes. Opening up the box, we have this sort of turquoise wood grain um, design on the paper. But then here are the shoes. Very nice in this all black suede. Really interesting thing that's happened to Dunks. It used to be that the regular Dunks, not SBs, would get better materials than SBs. But that's sort of flip-flopped where the SBs, it feels like, gets better materials than the regular releases. Um, interesting choice by Nike, but definitely has increased the hype of SBs. So, enough rambling. Let me get both pairs out, and let's take a closer look. All right, so now let's take a closer look at this SB Dunk Low, starting with the upper. And as you can see here, you get a really nice... Uh, black suede material for the majority of your upper here. So starting from the toe box, you can see a uh, really nice and thick suede material. Definitely is going to be durable, perfect for skateboarding. Moving on to the medial side, the whole upper basically is constructed of this suede and overlaid on top of it is our uh, cool gray swoosh. And this is also a really nice uh, thick leather material on the heel we have our Nike logo embro embroidered in uh, cool gray as well on the tongue we have our Nike SB logo Dunk Low Pro written on it as well also in cool gray these come stuck with uh, oval uh, black laces however you do also get an extra set of gray laces here so you can swap those out I'm preferring the black right now of course being an SB you get the extra fat tongue so a lot of padding here you'll definitely get a lot of lockdown because of that but also since you have such a fat tongue you can also lace these up and you won't feel the lace pressure taking a look at the laces now nothing on the aglets on the inside, you can see Zoom Air and Nike SB written on the insole. And that's because um, with the Pro, you do get a little airbag inside of your insole. So let me try to get this out. So here it is. Nike SB and Zoom Air written there. And you get this little baby Zoom Air bag here, as well as a softer uh, black foam on the forefoot here. You can barely feel this, honestly, but 
it's definitely a cool touch to have it. Really reminds me of past Kobe's and, and LeBron's where they'd have these massive zoom air units embedded into the insole, and those were awesome. Or those felt awesome under feet. You can't really feel the SBs because it's just such a small and thin airbag. Um, but still a nice touch to have. The inside lining is all in black and you have these sort of pods to cradle uh, your ankle here. And I guess those make these a pro as well. Or at least this is one way you could make the distinction between a regular and the pro. And then looking on the underside of the tongue, you just have more of that licensing. Also backed or the back side of the tongue is a fabric material. Moving on to the midsole outsole, your midsole is in this black rubber as well as your stitching, and that goes all around the shoe. Then your outsole is in this gum rubber color. Very nice. Nike SB in the middle here in black. And of course your Dunk Traction, very reminiscent of the Jordan 1 as well. And that's about it. It's been really interesting for me to see the sort of astronomical rise of the dunk once again and it doesn't look like nike is going to stop releasing dunks anytime soon and i definitely welcome it that's all i have to say about these thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe for more sneaker content and i'll catch you on the next video